is What Are You Like? The TV personality test where you get to find out how your character measures up to the country's loveliest stars. Over the course of the show, I'll ask ten searching questions, all of which are illustrated by some choice nuggets of TV gold. Each show is themed entirely around one human characteristic. Today, how motivated are you? And why not play along at home? Just keep a note of your answers to today's questions. On the show today, Team Captain Simon O'Brien, and he's joined by Coronation Street's very own Wendy Peters. No, most Thank you very much. And on Alan Jones's team today is the modern day Mary Poppins, Anthea Turner. Round one now, and our teams have to try to guess how motivated some of the nation's celebrities really are. It's our stars on screen. Dame Kelly Holmes, Brian Blessed, Linda Barker, comedian Roland Riveron, Sherry Hewson, actor Andrew Sachs, the glamorous Abby Titmus, Dickie Bird, John McCrerick, Vanessa Feltz. Oh, what a charming bunch. There's a point on offer for each question, Simon's team. You're up first, and to illustrate your question, let's enjoy some vintage step to and son as Albert fights for the sanctity of bath night. There you! Coffee, who the hell are you thinking of? You have a good day, Chan. No, I didn't. Oh, God blimey, what are you doing? I'm having a bath. What day is it then? It ain't your birthday, is it? Yeah. Hey, what do you want to go and have a bath tonight for? Of all days you could have picked, what do you want to go and pick tonight for? What's wrong with tonight then? Well, I told you this morning, Delia's coming round tonight. Delia! <laughs> I've invited her out of cocktails for we got down bingo. <laughs> and, uh, it ain't customary for a bird to meet a blood spider stuck in a bath. <laughs> you just have to get out, that's all. I've just got in. Well, you just have to get out again. Look, I'm not putting arguing about it. I don't want Delia to see my dad back in front of the fire in a tin bar. <laughs> <laughs> your house is a mess and your friends are coming to visit in a couple of hours. Do you A, leave it, they know what you like. B, clean up at the last minute, hiding the rubbish under your sofa. C, thoroughly clean the house and prepare food for everyone. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> to earn your point, you have to tell me what our stars on screen would do. You'll see three stars give an answer, and you have to predict the answer of the fourth. So the house is a state, and visitors are on their way round. What do our stars do? I would leave it. They know what I'm like, my friends. So it's A. If they're true friends, they know I'm a slob anyway, so leave it. A. I'd be mortified if there was dirt everywhere, and I couldn't push things under the surface. It would have to be C. This <laughs> <laughs> is so easy. <laughs> so what would comedian Roland Riveron do? You see, I can't believe that anybody would just leave it and not do anything. It's Roland Riveron. Yeah, but I need that one. I would. <laughs> I absolutely would. <laughs> it's never that. My house is never that Well, bad. there we go. Or I've got two kids and they make a lot of mess. And sometimes, you know, life's too short. That's the other point. That's the other point. <gasps> Roland He's a family man, isn't he? Yes, yes. So what's the point so of tidying up? So there would be school up? uniforms and everything like that, yeah. Don't let him sway you. Come on, <laughs> you, you're gonna go, trust me. Trust you? Yeah. Okay, I trust and then, you. Of course, and then when let's, I'm wrong, I'll trust a. you. Yeah. Okay? When so, you're wrong. Roll river on okay. A. A, he leave it. Let's see if you're right. I do quite a bit of work from home. People come round and uh, we work together. Um, and you know what? I do. I clear up. I don't know why. You know, it's a grown man coming round to my house. Why am I clearing everything away? It's a weird one, but C. Yeah, you see. So you trust me? I trust you now. Well, no, you said B. <laughs> yeah, but it was nearer to C than A. <laughs> They're fighting all the <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Never mind that. I'm thinking I'm the untidiest one here. <laughs> so there we are. OK. Alan and Andy. Yeah. And you do smell a bit, I have to say. <laughs> Sorry. He's lying. Your first question is coming up. I might choose to give you a point, I might not. <laughs> Take a look at this 2001 official report about the amount of sick days British workers are taking. Should have been published in 1998, but the author had a bit of a sore throat. The number of sick days makes unhealthy reading for bosses. The average worker now takes nine days off ill each year. Food and drink makers have most, around 11 and a half days. Health workers take just under 11. Local government employees take the same, and construction workers, many self-employed, take the least, under five days. The survey of almost 1,500 firms shows that around a third of days off for illness are bogus. Today, some confessed. It was actually last week, 
and um, I rang up saying I was feeling really, really ill. Spent the rest of the morning in bed quite happy and went off and had, some, had a nice day. Ever thrown a sickie? No, no, well, twice that I can think of in, my, in probably about 20 years of doing really? telly things. Wow. What, thrown a sickie or actually been sick? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, as they say, thrown a sickie, yeah. as right. they say in the Midlands. Right, okay. <laughs> All right, well, look, you have a day off work. Do you, A, stay in bed, there's nothing to get up for anyway. B, tidy your bedroom. You've been desperate to do it all week. Yes. That would be me. No, it wouldn't be me. See, decide to paint the front of the house. The I weather's <laughs> perfect. That is so me. <laughs> so, what would our stars do with their day off work? I'm always short on sleep. I have to get up at the crack of dawn six days a week to go to work. So I would love to wallow in bed. My answer, A. My bedroom's always covered in clothes and shoes and always needs tidying up. And you always feel better when you've done it. So I'd say B. So it'd probably be paint the house, C. So what would thespian oh. Brian Blessed I say? Imagine. I can't imagine that he'd just lie in bed because he's a get up and go type of guy, isn't he? He'd probably actually, climb Everest. Brian Blessed has <laughs> two and a half thousand animals to look after. In his yes, beard. Yes. In his beard. Writhing <laughs> 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 around. Oh. Oh. He's got some kind of animal centre, <laughs> hasn't he? Yeah. Uh, Should we go with C? I'm to to paint I'd the like front to of the be, house. yeah, I'd like to be really big and brave with Brian and, and go. <laughs> okay, see. See. It's quite a motivated okay. man. Let's have a look. 